She has one of the most impressive CVs in the world, and as Chancellor of Germany, claims the distinction to be the first German female to attain the position. Angela Merkel's success has been meteoric. Named as the most powerful woman of the world by Forbes magazine, Merkel, the chairwoman of the Christian Democratic Union, was hand-picked by Helmut Kohl and brought into the cabinet. Following a party financing scandal, it wasn't long before she had replaced him in the top job. Merkel's achievements are quite spectacular. Not only Germany's first female chancellor, she is also its first leader from the former communist East Germany and its youngest. Merkel is the third woman to serve on the G8 and the second woman to chair a G8 summit, has served as the president of the European Council and in 2007 became a member of the Council of Women World Leaders. Europe must focus on economic reform so that in a globalized world we can keep up and be competitive. Our social model can only be preserved if we are economically strong. They are two sides of the same coin. Merkel pledged to make Germany emerge from the global downturn in better shape than before the crisis sent the country into its worst recession since World War II. Merkel's foreign engagements have established a new German voice in European politics. As Merkel has met with world leaders, Germany has gained weight, reputation and self-confidence on the international stage. She has improved ties with Britain and Washington, met with King Abdullah of Jordan, and has said their discussions focused on working towards a comprehensive solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Talks between the Prime Minister of the Republic of Slovenia, Borat Pahor, and Merkel focused on stronger economic cooperation, the officials also exchanging ideas on how to mitigate the effects of the economic crisis. Naturally, Austrian Chancellor Alfred Gusenbauer was invited to Berlin for talks with his German counterpart. Keeping strong relationships with her European neighbors is certainly a high priority for Merkel. While her low-key style has been criticized, her step-by-step -step approach appears to work. When asked about her political motto regarding international affairs, Merkel answered, think, consult, decide. British Prime Minister Gordon Brown's discussions with Merkel often turn to economic trends, with the two leaders hopeful of regulating the global banking system. And though six decades have passed since the end of World War II, a state visit by a German leader to Israel is a highly emotional event for the Jewish state. The Chancellor's visit to Israel, during which she said that Germany was a loyal partner and friend, was greeted with enthusiasm and admiration. We know about the dangers that the State of Israel has been facing for the last 60 years, and we, as the Federal Republic of Germany, want to contribute to finding a solution to the conflict in the Middle East. As two separate countries, a state for the Jews in Israel and a state for the Palestinians in the Palestinian areas. Merkel recognizes that she faces new problems when it comes to globalization, but says she also has new opportunities, namely to work together. In 2007, Merkel received the World Statesman Award, given every year by the Appeal of Conscience Foundation. The foundation aims to promote religious freedom and human rights to people around the world, regardless of their faith. Described as a leader of courage, wisdom, and heart, Angela Merkel does not put herself in the limelight, preferring to quietly go about the business of being the most powerful woman in the world.